And sometimes that means some people come forward and share in a story, and sometimes it means you stay with your people because that's where you're most comfortable. And I'm happy either way. Because some of you don't really know who I am, so why would you want to come up here? <laughs> I would be cautious myself. <laughs> but if you'd like to come and join me, you're welcome. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. No, no, it's, no, don't worry. It's fine. So, we've had joy and peace and hope, and today we have love. And, you know, there's so much on TV with commercials showing love in a certain way and happy families and happy endings. The kind of love we celebrate here is a little bit different. And I brought a, brought a friend. I would like you to meet. This is Blue Bear. This is Blue Bear. Blue Bear. Hello. Blue Bear and I have known each other for 57 years. Wow. Because Blue Bear came into my world when I came into the world. Wow. And we've loved each other so much for so long. I wonder if any of you have had somebody like this in your life from when you were just really little. Someone you love to just sometimes squeeze. Someone who's just always there if you look, you can come closer and look at Blue Bear. I'm going to take off Blue Bear's sweater. <laughs> he said it was okay. <laughs> come close and see what happened to Blue Bear. Look. There's no more fur. See this part here? You can feel how soft it is. And then there's this part here. Blue Bear and I loved each other so much that all the fur got left off. <laughs> Do you want to touch this part? It's a bit softer. And then this part. That's because we squeezed each other for so long, so many times, that all the fur got left off. And look, Blue Bear had to get new paws. See? Blue Bear had to get a new nose. And one time even, Blue Bear had to get new eyes. Wow. Because his eyes came out. So, I'm still getting used to Blue Bear's new, eye, new eyes. <laughs> and I wonder if Blue Bear is getting used to seeing the world in a new way. Did you ever have somebody like this who you loved all their fur off? Did you? I'm going to read you the shortest little part from one of my favorite. Who, who needs to hold Blue Bear right now? Does anybody need to? Or want to? Oh. <laughs> Here's Blue Bear. <laughs> This is a short part of the Velveteen Rabbit. I'm only going to read the smallest part of it, and if you want to hear the whole story, somebody will find it for you, or you can find it. In the Velveteen Rabbit, a person, a young, young person, got given a brand new bunny, and it was all smooth and shiny, and it didn't look like Blue Bear at all. It was gorgeous. <coughs> but. The Velveteen Rabbit looked around the nursery and saw that other toys were different. And there was one toy that had been in the nursery for the longest time, and I bet it was like Blue Bear. It was called the Skin Horse. Can you imagine 
Here's the conversation they had. The skin horse lived longer in the nursery than any of the others. He was so old that his brown coat was bald in patches and showed the seams underneath and most of the hairs in his tail had been pulled out to string bead necklaces. He was wise, for a string of mechanical toys had come and gone and broken and by and by they passed away and they were only ever toys and nothing else. But nursery magic is strange and wonderful. And only those friends that are old and wise and experienced, like the skin horse or blue bear, understand it. What is real? asked the rabbit one day, when they were lying side by side, before Nana had come and tidied up all the toys. The velveteen rabbit said, does it mean having things that buzz inside you and a stick-out handle? The skin horse said, real isn't how you were made. It's a thing that happens to you. When a child loves you for a long, long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you, you become real. Does it hurt? Asked the rabbit. Sometimes, said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. Does it happen all at once? Like being wound up, he asked, or bit by bit. The skin horse said it doesn't happen all at once. You become. It takes a long time. That's why it doesn't often happen to people who break easily or have sharp edges or have to be carefully kept. Generally, by the time you're real, most of your hair has been loved off and your eyes drop out and you get loose in the joints and very shabby. But these things don't matter at all because once you're real, you can't be ugly, except to people who don't understand. I suppose you are real, said the rabbit, and then he wished he hadn't said it because the skin horse might be sensitive. The skin horse only smiled. The boy's uncle made me real. That was a great many years ago. Once you are real, you can't become unreal. It lasts for always. The rabbit sighed. He thought it would be a long time before this magic called real happened to him. He longed to be real to know what it felt like, and yet the idea of growing shabby and losing his eyes and whiskers was rather sad. He wished he could become real without these uncomfortable things happening to him. <laughs> You'll have to read the rest of the story to find out if the velveteen rabbit becomes real. Advent today, we're preparing for the great mystery of Christmas, and it's so big we need four weeks to get ready. Today we're welcoming love, the kind that changes everything, even how we see ourselves and others, the real kind of love. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your worship this morning.